definitely one thing about living in a camper is that you always want to get out and do something because you're going to confine such a small space. Like we want to get out of there. We want to go out and see things and do things. So maybe one of the main reasons we go to Disney quite a bit is because it's a great way to get a lot of exercise because nothing's close. You want to walk around the park. You know, our pedometer sometimes say we walk two to three miles going to a Disney park and get this out of the small confined space of the camper. Yep. The only downside is we can't bring Dutch with us. I know, right? No dogs at Disney. Disney does gardening and some really cool. Well, cause they do it best. Let's go. Many of these like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lake, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starch and yeah. the plant has a little bit of need to make flower protection. One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the hill. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making them the most popular fruit in the world. So, we just went on Living with the Land, my favorite attraction. I think my favorite part is when we go into the greenhouse and we get to see how they grow their plants and vegetables and use their different techniques. A lot of fun. Hey, but you know what's really exciting? I have a surprise for you. What? We're gonna go on the behind the scenes tour no, at three o'clock. Not 15 minutes. Uh -uh. Are you serious? It's my favorite. I've always wanted to do that. I know, right? <gasps> so we're gonna go grab something here from the Caesars restaurant, and this is where they actually use the food that they grow and they serve it here in the Caesars restaurant. Yep. We're gonna go from the Caesars restaurant, and we're gonna go do the uh, whoop, behind the scenes tour. Oh, so stay tuned. So I know, right? All right. Lots of yours, huh? Mickey head in the background. You want there are 
their tour where we're on the back lot kind of the what they call it, uh, behind the scenes tour. Just finished up, learned a lot of cool things about plants and how they grow them in different types of climates and areas, so a lot of fun. So one of the things I really enjoy is gardening. And I would not say that I am spectacular at it. I'm definitely a newbie, so I'm learning a lot of things along the way. And you'll see some mistakes that I've made in my garden. Actually, after going through the seeds tour, behind the seeds tour at Epcot, I felt like I probably needed to just dump out all my pots and start over. But I'm not going to do that because I do see some fruit of my labor. So we're going to enjoy what we've got going so far and uh, then do better next time. Some of the things I'm growing in my garden are peppers. So I've got red peppers, I've got onions here, um, and as you can see, I did not listen to the packet instructions and plant them so many inches apart, so that will probably uh, affect the yield on my garden, but I have uh, already kind of checked out my onions, and they won't bulb. I did learn that at Epcot, there are specific things you have to do to make them kind of bulb out, or have to have a certain... Um, bugs and whatnot things that help other things um, but it's not to say I can't still use them uh, so I will do that one of the pests that I learned about during the behind the seeds tour was a leaf miner and actually you can see here that I do have a leaf miner issue in this leaf and they, while they won't cause a lot of problems in the garden they can destroy some of the leaves so if you need them but the leaf miner lays its larva underneath the leaf in between the two layers and then as it grows and hatches it finds its way out of the leaf. Now what you can purchase to get rid of leaf miners are any kind of parasitic wasp, really tiny little wasps, but that might not help in this situation because if I let some wasps free here, they'd probably all fly away. But if you had a greenhouse or a way to contain them, then that might work. Um, you can see over here I've got some more of my vegetables. Tomato, my tomato plant is actually yielding. I've got a couple of tomatoes growing on my tomato plant, so I'm super excited about those. I've got squash and zucchini. One of the things I know is that they have to, uh, the male flower and the female flower have to come into contact unless you have bees in the area, which I don't think that we do. But I was able to hand pollinate. And so it looks like I've got a little squash that's actually going to grow. You can see I have a little, oh, no, fell off now. But if they don't pollinate, then they don't grow. So I've got squash, zucchini, kale and lettuce, another situation where I didn't plant them apart like they were supposed to be, and then carrots. And you can see I've got some little orange spots in here where some carrots are, are poking through, so I'm super excited about that. And then of course green beans. And I've got some little baby, little baby green beans growing on here. So because I never know where we're going to be, we're always on, we're always traveling, I make sure that all of my vegetables are in pots and containers that I can take with me. So I know it seems like a lot and it is, it is a bit to load into the camper and unload, but I love it and it's something that I enjoy. I enjoy coming out every morning and watering my garden, coming out and pruning it, making sure if there's any dead leaves or anything that need to be taken off that I do that. So it's really fun to be able to know where my vegetables and fruits are coming from and so that's why I do it. And so the best thing if you wanted to garden and you're living in a camper is to make sure that the seeds or the seedlings that you purchase are okay to be grown in containers.